for video recording 101 you usually need for narrated narrated episodes a microphone and a screen recording software if you're doing it on a computer like me now you have the microphone how do you set it up well screen recording 101 you have to plug it in I can't believe this but this entire last try I forgot to plug this in I don't know if it was unplugged from before or what but to be honest I'm actually pretty happy that it was unplugged because that first attempt I did was horrible and rushed and horrible and oh yeah you can dual chas now but wait didn't we hear something about a student from Dual Academy winning a car design contest? Oh well, now it's night. And it turns out Chun Li's gone. Hmm, quinkadink, I think not. Now I love this little event for one reason, and you'll see why as soon as you go outside. They're looking for Chun Li. He's right there! I mean, look at the giant freaking exclamation mark. Why are they having such a problem finding him? This is a really good setup for an endless night since you can get back to your dorm really easily. You have as much time as you want, and getting there is really. and getting to the event is also easy, so. Yeah, this episode is short, and yet it gets quite a bit done. There's two events that are covered in this episode because both of the duels featured in this episode were really quick and the, this first one was pretty lucky and this second one was just a really nice duel not to mention it kind of reminds me of a bit of nostalgia but um this episode kind of follows two events from the anime pretty well of course, this whole game falls the events from the anime pretty well, and pretty far, too. I mean, geez, by the time we finish this game, which is going to be literally about, mm, I'll give it four parts max, including this one, then that's it, I mean. But the thing is, it goes really far, especially when you compare it to Duel Academy. Now, this first event is, spoilers, John Lee leaves the island because... He won the card drawing contest, and it turns out that's his true calling. Not dueling, but card design. Which is fine, everyone has to find their own way. So, you know, I was never really a big fan of Chumley. Heck, to be a little bit mean to him, he was actually the reason I didn't get into the series for a little, GX for a little while, because when I saw the commercials, and I saw Chumley's look, I was like, this doesn't look too good. Of course, I think I was just going, af going after the art direction as a whole, but I definitely didn't like Chumley. But, you know, he's a pretty cool character. He doesn't get quite as many good moments as uh, Zane, Alexis, a lot of characters. A lot of the other main characters, but, you know, he's a pretty fine character as a whole. His story arc is interesting, of course. The problem is he has to be caught in GX. Not a really good sequel spinoff. <laughs> of course, from what I heard, 5Ds and Zexel are both worse, but that's just from what I heard from Little Karibo. Anyway, this first duel ended really quickly because, as you will see in about two seconds, I was able to summon XYZ Dragon Cannon. Now, I remember the first time I went on a little rant about, I'm sad there's no VWXYZ Dragon Cannon Catapult Possibility. And I believe that was V Tiger Catapult and W Wing, Wing Jetpack or something like that. That formed their own fusion. V W Wing Catapult or something like that. And then combine that with XIC and you get V W X Y Z Dragon Cannon Catapult. Which is a really fun name to say. And I mean I owned a physical copy of that car. I need a look around in my collection that I have and see if I still have it, but yeah, I was really proud of that car. 
I couldn't use it because even though I had V and the V and the W, I didn't have X, Y, or Z, X, Y, Z, or V, W <laughs> to use. But I mean, that's all I can really say. Something really interesting that this little uh, development in Chumley's character that I thought was really cool they did was they brought back in pretty permanently one of the original series characters and he ended up saying it would be Pegasus but you know before I don't remember if this was before or after but the only other time I can really think of they did that was you know Yugi obviously and then there was also Seto Kaiba's pretty random one it was kind of useless really but you know it was there and it was nice And what they did was, when they brought that Pegasus, it was actually pretty interesting, because, I mean, I already liked his characterization before from the original series, how he ended up being this just misunderstood villain, and, you know, he turned he, neutral in the end, didn't really do anything evil, but he's definitely helped. The movie showed him doing that. Now, finally, we beat him. But it was nice to see Pegasus come back and stay. He was actually pretty entertaining to watch throughout the rest of the series. He was pretty cool in Season 3. I don't remember if he does anything in Season 4, because I haven't watched it. And, like I spoiled before, this is Chumley saying, I gots to go. Too bad we don't see Pegasus in this game. It would have been a neat little cameo. But this game's kind of up and down with introducing new characters anyway, so who am I kidding? He... They probably wouldn't bring him in, kind of like how they wouldn't add Veins to Titan. I know it's a nitpick, but dang it, it's weird why they didn't add Veins to Titan. I mean, come on, they gave two forms of young Ka Kagemaru. Alright, next event. Stop ranting. Wait, I forgot. This is my Let's Play of ranting. Oh yeah, first we have to... Chill Tum... Chill Tum... <laughs> Sorry. Tell Chumley goodbye. Man, I have some great tongue tie moments. So, we have to tell Chumley bye, and I included it in just for the sake of cutscene. Now, as you might guess, and as my the walkthrough I use hilariously says, as you may guess, you won't be able to duel Chumley for a while. <laughs> really? Oh, and here's the second event. This was actually a really nice event. It was a cool part in the anime, and it was a fun duel here. Now, to be completely forthright, I did lose to Zane my first time because he had a good draw and I had a bad draw. Because we're dueling Zane, that's right. The valedictorian gets to choose who he f duels in his send-off duel, graduation duel, and Cyrus is all like, oh crap, you have to be my brother. <laughs> so, the following day, we get to, after class, of course, we get to duel somebody, yay. Now, I know a lot of people make fun of this weird setting, but I really wonder, what would it be like to go to a school where all you do is dueling? I mean, true, we're going under the assumption that everybody has a job tied to dueling, kind of like how when Pokemon everyone does something related to Pokemon usually. But I mean still, I think it would be an interesting scenario. You have to be good at figuring out the world's most complicated card game. But yeah, here's the thing, for some reason he doesn't have a 5 star strength deck, but he is still one of the toughest duelists in the game. In Duel Academy, he was the toughest duelist in the game. Because his deck was strong, he had the beatdown mentality, he had a deck that could support it. He had plenty of cards to make him get out his fusion, Cyber Twin, and Cyber End Dragon. It's just a really scary duelist. And in this game, he's about the same. He's a little bit tamer, but you know, with the improved AI, that's also a bit scary to watch out for. Now, 
it doesn't matter if you win or lose this duel. The same thing will happen in the end, but I always like winning against him because that's the mentality Duel Academy got me into. Now, something... Now, I said before that this was a really cool part in the anime, and I'm not taking that back. I think it was a really cool part anime because in the anime because it was the revenge duel between Zane and Jaden, the two best duelists in the series. And, you know, it was a really well choreographed duel. They kept on getting their strongest cards out. There's a lot of, you know, uh, badinage. And, you know, it was just a really entertaining part of the series to see Zane being sent off in that light of fashion. Now, I actually gave. Zane a bit of a second chance because it looked like he was going to have a really bad um, top decking situation on his hands but you know it was still a pretty good duel in the end because you'll see he pulls off a really good move and seals his fate but in the meantime you know I was making all these savvy little moves I was all like Hey, if I attack with all my monsters, I think I might be able to win the duel just right here and now. I even got a big bang attack card to really seal off how much attack points I could beat him by. But that ends up biting me in the butt really soon. And just a quick little idea I can give while I let while I allow Zane to uh, get a new hand. Why isn't there a button that can just say, let all my monsters attack directly? I mean, I guess I can understand because some duels prefer to, you know, wait until the last card to activate a trap card or something, but there are plenty of moments where there is no way they're going to stop you. And there, there should be an option to just say, let all my monsters attack. If it's, you know... Let me phrase this. If it's completely possible to do so without interruption. Now he does this, I'm like, oh, okay, well this is crappy summon Cyber Dragon. Then he does this, he uses Power Bond, his signature card, summon Cyber Twin Dragon. And yeah, a card that can attack twice with 5600 attack points, kinda scary. And I was literally thinking, oh no, if he gets my life points down zero, I lose, obviously, but if he doesn't, then I barely win. Sure enough, he doesn't, and it ends just like in the anime where he loses, well, actually, he ties with Jane. But in the end, he loses because of his choice, and there we go. Thankfully, I never use the deck I have, and, oh yeah, quickly, Zane says, congratulations, that was a good duel, the school's in better hands now. And a little characterization of Cyrus coming up. The next day, we're all like, hey, we're second year students. Oh, hey, Cyrus, you're in raw yellow now. Yeah, my test grades are good. Problem is, he couldn't even find Chumley five steps away. But yeah, I finally get to change my deck because we finally get the new pack opened. And you get to see one of my favorite deck ideas thanks to this game. 